Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, ancient of days. Be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba, Father. They never believe in you. Child of God, they never did. They never did. Even they never saw it coming. That your light will be so profound. That your light will be so bright and bold. They never believe in you. Everyone you turn to, they have, these people always have a reason to doubt you. To doubt you. And why is it like this? You are even the person that believes in other people's dreams. You are like, oh, go. You are always clapping for others. You are always like energizing others up to pursue their light, you know. But when it comes to your side, no one even wants to believe in your dream. They doubted your journey. They doubted your journey, but yet now, the journey annoys them. Because they can see that the light in your journey is so profound. Glory to Jesus. A very profound light. A very profound light. Glory to our Father. A very profound light. That is why I tell us, don't allow people to discourage you. There are people who are blessed or who are talented. I don't know what, um, what, I, what word I need to use in this phrase. They are threatened when they see others trying to also get blessed. Trying to also rise. Trying to also display their talent that God has given them. One thing in life, any man that believes in his dream will come out with that light, with that dream shining. Yes, the dream might be difficult to, to pursue. That is the reality. Every great dream experiences difficulty. And that is one of the difficulties that you experience in that journey. The difficulties is that those that were supposed to clap for you, those that were supposed to believe in you, they never did. They never did. But there are people who you never expected that will believe in you. You will see them believing in your dream. Somebody will just tap your shoulder. Someone you don't know and said, go on. Go on, beloved. You are going to make it. You are like, I, I, I don't even know these people. You are walking and there are people who don't even believe in your work. But someone come from nowhere and say, ah, you are doing a great job. That is God sending his angels to comfort you. Hallelujah. He said he would not leave us orphans. He will send us a comforter. A world that is full of discouragement. God will comfort his own. God will comfort his own. They never really believe. Even now that they see that your light is very profound. They still have doubt. They still look for a way to quench their light. Child of God, help will not always come from where you are looking for help. There are some things we are targeting some people or some places or some business. Where, ah, I am just targeting this business. This is where my help will come from. And God will just bring another business to you from nowhere. And that is where your help will come from. That is to tell you that your help does not come from man. The Bible says his thought is higher than our thought. His ways are different from our ways. Hallelujah. They are annoyed now. Why? Because they see that that light that you carry. It is a profound light. Glory Abba Father. They never believe you. Child of God, you don't even need everyone to believe in your journey. All you need is to have God. And have yourself. When I mean have yourself, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and trust in the process. Knowing that this is what God said I should do. If you believe in it, that you can do it, God will give you the strength. Hallelujah. He will give you the strength. And you will see that that which people don't believe, 
that you can do. You will see the light of God coming, coming, coming and shining upon it. Where you are right now, there are people who never believe that you could get here. There are people who never believe that you could still be alive. Why? Because they never really believe anything that concerns you. They see you as if you are not really part of someone who should be important. Child of God, you are important. Your light is profound. That is the, that this is the message. And everyone who did not believe in you, they know they can see the light. They can see the light. Though they feel annoyed by your light, they see that your light is profound. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remember your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.